hey guys welcome back to my channel so everyone that knows me knows that i am not an animal person but my friends just rescued this little doggy and his name is louis and in all honesty i feel like i'm bonding with a dog and i never thought i'd see the day like look how chill he is they found him tied to a post but you know everything happens for a reason because now he's here with me all right, take him. <laughs> All righty, y'all. So, just to get straight, oops, get straight to the point. Today, we will be reviewing the new Morphe 24A Artist Pass Palette. That took a moment because it's honestly a long title, and it's Morphe's collab with Saweetie, the rapper. Um, as you guys know. She's all about icy this and icy that. She's an icy girl. And the PR package came with this cute little chain. You know, it's cute. So we're gonna talk about the glosses that come with the collection and the brushes. But before we get started, I just wanna address the elephant in the room. I know a lot of y'all are like all panicked and you know, we're going through a really weird time right now, but I want to Assure you guys that everything will be fine right now. It's not the time to think about all that's going on in the world right now. I just want you guys to have a good time with me. We're going to talk about makeup. We're going to chill out. And for the remainder of this video, I just want you to be relaxed and chilled and having a good time. But before we get started, in order to have a good time, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure that the notification bell is turned on. But let's just get started. So honestly, I kind of want to go with this vibe. I, I like the RNG sunset -y vibes. So I'm going to go into desert vibes and Indio Whoa. Because I kind of want like an RNG brown moment in the crease. So this is definitely like kind of a better shade, especially for my skin tone. I kind of have on the outer edges, which is what I wanted in the first place. So I'm just packing it on with this packer brush. And then I'm gonna take this blending brush and just blend out the edges. So I'm gonna go into security with that same blending brush and just go like right here. Honestly, I want to do a look that's super easy because I feel like I always do the same looks. Like, I always do kind of like that cut crease moment. It's a little tired at this point. So, so far, so good. These are honestly really easy to blend. But with Morphe products, I always kind of just expect it to work just because I've worked with them in the past. So, I don't even want to, like, be fake about it and be like, oh, my God. Like, I kind of already know what to expect when it comes to their product. And the beauty about using shades like this is that you really don't even need to be like as meticulous as to how it's applying. And just so you know, I'm going back in with Desert Vibes and India Well to blend that outer part out. I think I'm actually gonna go into this yellowish mustard shade too, get the shot and then just go like right at the top. What I like about Get The Shot is that it's not like the typical Morphe yellow that I'm used to. It's definitely a lot warmer and more deserty, and it's perfect for just kind of blending out that outer edge, but like still having a little bit of color in case you don't want it to be like too basic. So I'm gonna go in with Major Inspo, which is this purple, just to add a little bit of more pop. I love it. And then using that same brush that I've been using to blend, just because it already has a lot of those initial shadows, I'm gonna blend out this outer edge. And as you can see, it just once you have the shades that you had before, it just makes it so easy to blend. Alrighty, so now that we got the vibes of the palette on the eye, I wanna add a shimmer. So just because I'm feeling like I'm in a experimental mode i think i'm gonna go in with spotlight stealer which actually like physically has like stars within the shade and i just want to see how it looks on the eye so i'm going to use this rubber brush that they have which i think is specifically for this shade i'm gonna look here right now oh definitely not for someone who doesn't like to take risks and especially since the stars kind of go where they want to go but i'm not mad at it kind of a lot 
I've actually never seen any. Have you seen anything like this as well? Yeah, what did I think of this? Now I'm gonna go in with a packer brush just so I could take some of that shimmer that's on it. If you have hooded eyes like me, you definitely have to like strategically place the stars, but once you have them on, you have them on. I didn't use any glue, no nothing, really. So I'm actually surprised. But let's see how long it lasts. I'm just gonna do it to the other side now. And just so you guys know, in case you're wondering, what it's kind of like a jelly texture. Like if you can see, it's very, it's very interesting. It's definitely not your typical eyeshadow texture. Ooh. All right, y'all, so this is definitely different. I'm curious to see how the stars would hold up, but I definitely commend them for doing something different. I've never really seen anything like this. But I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna be like, oh yeah, I saw this done here because y'all be knowing everything. I don't be knowing nothing. So I think I'm gonna go in the bottom lash line. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out. I'm gonna go in with Max Volume, which is this pink. And I'm gonna make sure it meets that purple on the outer edge, but I'm leaving a space kind of like in that inner corner. So for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna go in with Secret Set. So let's see, let's see. Okay. So, in order to complete the eyes, I need mascara and lashes. But since I just kind of want to leave all of that for like the reveal, I think I'm gonna go in with one of the icy lips. So I went busy with the eyes. I think I'm gonna go in with the Boss Tycoon Icy Lip. And I love lip glosses with applicators like this because they just really get all the product on. Let's see. I love this applicator because you see with applicators like this you just get all the products on i feel like sometimes the applicators with like the little brushes it gets stuck in the brush and this always reminds me of like you know when you were like growing up and all the girls had these type of lip glosses hmm. i'm gonna see what this one looks like this one is whoop, this one is quad eight inches i wonder what the eight inches means oh i like this actually i'm just gonna concentrate it in the middle gonna set with my Morphe setting spray and I'll be right back. Alrighty y'all so this is the finished look and I'm actually you know I'm pretty pleasantly surprised because I'm not gonna lie when we were like in the middle of doing this I was a little scared especially with the like with the stars and the glitter but I like it it's very festively and for those of you, because I know some of y'all are going to be like, what lashes are you wearing? So I'm wearing Beauty Creations Take the Spotlight Lashes um, and use code VIC. I didn't even know I had a code with them until like the other day and I'm use code VIC to save money. But yeah, let's go back on everything. As for the palette, I definitely say go for it if you're into like neutrals with a little bit of color. Again, it's a very interesting time that's going on right now in terms of like <laughs> festival stuff because all the festivals have been rescheduled for October. But um, you know, get your get your palette now and use code big for 10% off and then use it during the summer. I mean, I don't really know what to tell y'all to be honest. I don't think anybody knows what to tell y'all. But I definitely approve and I definitely love that they added this. This was very different. At Spotlight Stealer, it literally was like the Spotlight Stealer of the palette because I've never seen anything done like that. And I'm jealous that I didn't think of it when I did a little collab with Morphe, if you didn't know, the 39 ounce. As for the glosses, I was actually really scared to use the glosses. I'm very picky when it comes to glosses. And when you look at the actual like component, you would think that it's kind of sandy. It kind of has like a sandy look, but when you actually apply it on, it's just shimmer. And what I liked is that you could mix them too and they didn't feel goopy, you know? It didn't feel goopy. It, Cause you know how sometimes you just put too much lip gloss and it just gets goopy and just nasty. It's not too sticky. It's honestly a really good texture. Cause sometimes I'm not gonna lie with some Morphe glosses, the texture is a little bit like weird for me and my taste of glosses. But with these, I really like the formula. I'm not sure if it's the same Morphe formula for glosses. I'm actually curious to know if this is the same formula. I prefer glosses that have this applicator because you really get the product on the lips and you get as much as you want. I like really, really obnoxiously glossy lips. So that's what I got. As for the brushes, come on, it's Morphe. You already know the brushes are popping. Like 
I honestly think that Morphe has some of the best affordable brushes, but I mean, they were originally called Morphe brushes, so go figure. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. And again, we're all gonna be good. We're all gonna be safe and healthy. And I know it's a weird time right now, but I want y'all to know that we're gonna get through this and everything's gonna be fine and just, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with what you guys wanna see next. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on because a lot of you guys have been telling me how you haven't been notified that I'm posting videos, but it's because YouTube has beef with me right now because I haven't posted in a long time. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.